Hi guys, I'm Soumya and I'm back again with another video. I hope you're all well and safe. So in today's video, I am going to talk about a book which was sent to me by the author and that book is The Cool Breeze from Hind by Mujib Jaihun. So let's get into the video. The Cool Breeze from Hind is historical fiction and in this book, the author has expressed his love for his homeland as well as his resident country by taking the reader back in time by narrating events from the past and also talking about historical figures with his own spin. Mujib Jaihun is a UAE-based author and in this book, he refers to his homeland as Paddy Fields, which is a term he uses to talk about Kerala and then he refers to his resident country as sand dunes. Since the author expresses dual loyalty in this book, that is to his homeland as well as his resident country, he often talks about how Malayali and Arab cultures kind of come together. So in this book, we get to read about historical figures like Umar Kazi, Moin Kuti Vedya, to name a few. And each and every chapter is preceded by a paragraph or two that lets the reader know about the contents of that chapter. So the author often talks about how he is both Videshi and Swadeshi. So he takes the reader through the historical events by visiting India and meeting different people. So this book has been written in a poetic style, which means that literally it has been written in a poetic style. There is rhyming all through the book. So this wasn't something that I was expecting. So I found it quite unique. There are 18 chapters in this book and even though this book is supposed to be historical fiction, it is actually an amalgamation of the author's take on history, his take on the modern world, his take on the West, on communal harmony and he addresses all this through a spiritual lens wherein he talks to his rosary. So he calls himself the nightingale and he calls his rosary the rose. So there is a glossary at the end of the book that helps the reader understand certain concepts that are brought into this book by the author because if you don't refer to that glossary, you can be a bit lost. And then all through the book, it provides footnotes that give meanings of a lot of Urdu words because this book has a lot of Urdu words. And it also gives references and uh, sources from where those references have been made all through the book. So this book has 386 pages. Pages. And to be very frank, it took me a lot longer to read this book than it takes me to read a book of this length usually. And the reason for that was that this book was a completely different and a new and even a challenging experience for me. You see, this book is historical fiction and whenever you are reading historical fiction, it is best understood when you are familiar with the primary history of that book because that's what a historical fiction does. It takes some events from history and the author takes creative liberty to add his or her own spin to it. Now, in case of this book, there were certain events that I was definitely familiar with, so those were fine. But there were a lot of people that this book talked about that I did not know about at all. So I had to do my additional literature research while reading this book I had to look a lot of new people up to understand what this book was actually talking about even with the footnotes talking about the first impressions of this book when I first saw this book I noticed the cover that it looked like a painting and I found it to be very beautiful and pleasing to the eyes now when I was reading this book it took me some time about 100 pages to get into the flow of this book properly and that was primarily because the writing style of this book was so new to me me. The way the author expresses his thoughts in this poetry style manner was a different experience altogether because the language in this book is a blend of poetry style prose along with spiritual mysticism. So this becomes a very unique combination for me as a reader. And all through the book, the rhyming has continued till the end. I found that to be very impressive because to be able to mold the sentences in such a manner that the rhyming stays the same right till the end and the uniformity is maintained till the end is not an easy task. So the author has expressed his thoughts on various things in this book with a lot of clarity. And whether the reader agrees or disagrees with the author will really depend on the reader's standpoint. Just like the author has the liberty to express his thoughts the reader also has the liberty to agree or disagree with what has been expressed. In any case, clarity of thought is definitely there in this book. So after reading this book, I will say that people who are into reading historical fiction books that explore the history through the author's own personal spiritual journey 
and who are fond of lyrical language in a book can surely consider reading this book and also people who do not mind doing a little bit of their own research while reading a book i think that is fine readers are used to that kind of stuff so i won't say that it's a very challenging thing but it really depends on what a reader prefers so if you are interested in checking out the cool breeze from hind by mujib jaihun then i will provide the link for this book in the description box I hope you found this review useful. If you want to connect with me on my social media, the links are in the description. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and stay safe.